Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about uh, the inscribed circles or inscribed angles. We're going to talk about tangent tangent angles, uh, secant secant angles, uh, angles inscribed in a circle, chord chord angles, uh, as we apply them to practice problems and angles related to a circle. All right, so let's get started. First problem number 32 from the book, a quadrilateral ABCD is inscribed in a circle. Its diagonals intersect at x if arc AB is equal to 100 uh, degrees, BC is equal to 50, and AD is congruent to BD, and find the measure of angle DXC. So part of the problem, or part of the, what you need to accomplish with this particular problem is to draw the figure, because it's not given to you. So I'm going to ask you to take a moment to do that. Uh, if you already haven't, while I pause, So I've drawn out the figure for you, and uh, so you have a circle. Uh, I have two chords, AC and BD. They intersect at a point X here, and what I need to do is I need to identify what the measure of CXD is. So in order to do that, I need to figure out what uh, arc length or arc measure CD is. So we're going to work towards that end, uh, understanding that I want to get the equation that X is equal to one-half the sum of the measure of arc CD plus the measure of arc AB. And of course, you know, we already have the measure of arc AB, it's 100, uh, 100 degrees. Right now, we're given that BD and AD are congruent, also that arc BA is 100 degrees. So I know that the angle measure ADB is going to be equal to 50 degrees. So let's mark that up in the diagram. And because I know that the sum of the measures of all the angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees, uh, and I know that angle uh, ABD and DAB uh, are congruent, I can then conclude that angle DBA and angle DAB are both 65 degrees. All right, if that's the case, then I know that the measure of uh, arc BCD is going to be equal to 130 degrees, 130. So let me write that here. The measure of arc BCD is going to be equal to two times the measure of the inscribed angle BAD. So that is equal to 130 degrees. I know that the measure of CB is 50 degrees. So I subtract CB to get CD. And I end up with the measure of arc CD as 80 degrees. Right now that I have the measure of arc CD, I can figure out what the measure of angle CXD is. I just fill in the values here. One half the measure of CD, which is 80 degrees, plus AB, which is 100 degrees. And I end up with uh, angle CXD is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, moving on to the next problem. I'm given uh, a circle and two secant, secant, or a secant, secant angle with two secants. WZ is congruent to XY. Arc WXY is 200 degrees, so we're going to go ahead and uh, mark that up. So let me mark this up here in a second diagram. So WXY is equal to 200 degrees. <clears throat> I need to find the measure of angle P here. All right, well, I know that the measure of angle P is going to be one half the difference of WX and ZY. So let's write what we're trying to accomplish here. Okay, so I need to find out what X and Y are. Well, I know that X, WXY, this measure of this arc, is going to be 200. And I'm going to identify arc WX as X and arc ZY is Y. So I know that uh, this arc length or arc measure here is going to be 200 minus X. Well, I know that uh, this angle here and this angle here, X and W are congruent. I have two chords that are going to be congruent, WZ and XY. So I know that their intercepted arcs are going to be congruent. So I can say that XY arc XY is congruent to WZ. So if XY is 200 minus X, I can say that WZ is also 200 minus X. 
So now I know that the sum of all of the measures of all of the arcs is going to be 360 uh, degrees. So I can add them all together. I have 200 minus x plus 200 minus x plus x plus y is equal to 360 degrees. And uh, I'm going to simplify this. I have minus x minus x plus x. So I end up with minus x. I have 400 now minus x plus y equal to 360 degrees. So I'm going to subtract 360 from both sides. And I'm going to add x and subtract y from both sides. And I get 40 is equal to x minus y. Well, that's really what I want, right? Wx is equal to x, and zy is equal to y. So I know that the difference between the two is going to be 40 degrees. So my answer is going to be half of that, or 20. So 1 half of x minus y, or 1 half of 40, is equal to 20 degrees. All right, moving on to the next problem. A secant and a tangent to a circle intersect to form an angle of 38 degrees. So that's given here. If the measures of the arcs intercepted by this angle are in a ratio of 2 to 1, find the measure of the third arc. All right, so we know that <clears throat> for this equation we have a tangent and a secant. Um, I know that 38 degrees is going to be equal to 1 half of the difference of the two arcs, so 2x minus x. So I know that 38 is equal to 1 half of x. So x ends up being 76 degrees. All right, if x is 76 degrees, then this value here is 152 degrees. This uh, measure of this arc here is 76 degrees. If I add these two together, I get 228 degrees. And then I subtract that from 360 degrees, and I end up with 132 degrees as my answer. OK, moving on. So the measure of this third arc, which we can say is arc, let's just say it's arc AB, is going to be 132 degrees. OK, two more problems left. <clears throat> Number 35, given circles P and Q are internally tangent at T, diameter NS, here's a diameter NS, of circle Q is tangent to P at A, and uh, AT, so here's AT, so uh, diameter NS is tangent to circle P uh, at A and AT. And the measure of arc MR here is 42 degrees. TM passes through A. So TM passes through A. We're going to find the measure of arc NM. All right, so I know that an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. I know that arc MR is 42 degrees. So I can say that angle ATQ is going to be equal to 21 degrees. So I'm going to write that here. Uh, angle ATQ is equal to 21 degrees. Well, I know that the measure of the intercepted arc again is going to be twice that of the inscribed angle. So I can say that, I'm going to say that this is B here. I'm going to say the measure of arc AB is going to be the same as arc MR, which is equal to 42 degrees. Well, I know that TPQ is a diameter. Um, so I know that TAQ, or sorry, TAB, the measure of TAB will be 180 degrees. Because TPQ is a diameter, uh, or TPB is a diameter, I know TAB is equal to 180 degrees. So the measure of TA is equal to 138 degrees. So I have the measure of arc TA equal to 138 degrees. Now I can find out what the measure of this angle here is, AQT. The measure of AQT, angle AQT, is going to be equal to one half of the difference of 138 uh, minus 42. So let's write that in there. 
and this should be, okay, so AQT is going to be one half of the difference of uh, arc TA minus arc AB, so 138 minus 42, and this gives us one half of 96, which is equal to 48 degrees. So I know the measure of AQT is equal to 48 degrees. Now I can figure out <clears throat> uh, what the arc length is of NT and of RS. Well, I know that the measure of, uh, or that angle NQT or AQT is a central angle. So I know that the measure of AQT is going to be the same as the measure of NT. Right, so the measure of NT is going to be equal to 48 degrees. This is the measure of arc, NT is 48 degrees. So let's write that in here. And I know that I have a diameter in TQR, and I know that the diameter uh, cuts off an arc of 180 degrees. So I know that TMR, the measure of arc TMR, is equal to 180 degrees. And so I can figure out the measure of NM by subtracting NT and MR. So let's just draw that in here. I can subtract MR and NT, which will leave me with the balance of NM, and that's what we're looking for. So I have 180 degrees, so here's my 180 degree arc. And now I'm going to subtract NT, which is 48 degrees, and I'm going to subtract MR, which is 42 degrees, and I end up with NM measure of NM, which is going to end up being 90 degrees. All right, on to our last problem. I have two circles intersect at A and B. If the measure of angle AXB, so AXB here, is 70 degrees, the measure of arc CD is 20, and I've written that in here, and the measure of arc EF here is 160 degrees, find the difference between the measures of arc AB of the smaller circle and AB of the larger circle. Right, so I've written this up for you. Uh, now I know that the arc of the larger circle, so this uh, arc in blue here, is going to be one half of 160 minus uh, AB, the measure of AB. Uh, so let's back up a second. I'm going to figure out the measure of arc AB, and the measure of arc AB <clears throat> is part of the equation, one half of 160 minus this arc length here is equal to 70 degrees. So I have two secant secant angles. The measure of this angle here is equal to the difference of 160, one half the difference of 160 minus AB. So I write in the equation one half of 160 minus AB, and that's going to be equal to 70, and then I solve for AB. All right, so AB ends up being equal to 20, so this value here of the larger circle ends up being 20 degrees. So the measure of the arc AB of the larger circle is 20 degrees. Now I apply the same formula for the smaller circle uh, and I identify uh, X is the value that I'm trying to achieve in this case. I want to figure out what this measure of AB is. So in this case I have uh, instead of two secant secant angles with an angle outside of the circle, I have two chord chord angles with the angle inside of the circle, or the vertex inside of the circle. So my equation here is going to be one, one half, 70 is equal to one half the sum of arc AB, which I identify as X, plus CD, which is identified as 20 degrees. So I have one half of X plus 20 uh, is equal to 70, and I solve for X and I end up with the measure of arc AB is equal to 120 degrees. All right, that's it for, oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't finish the problem. So I have the measure of the smaller, or the arc for the smaller circle is 120 degrees. The measure of the arc for the larger circle is 20. The difference between the two is gonna end up being 100 degrees. All right, that's it for Ott and Math and this edition of the practice problems for angles related to a circle. Come and join me uh, in Chapter 6, 10.6, when we talk about more angles as they relate to uh, circles, more angle arc theorems in the next edition of Ott and Math.